Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I have a brand new Asus Tough Gaming Laptop. The model is uh, Tough FX 505DY. We're going to do a little upgrading on it. Nice little entry level gaming laptop. It has the um, Radeon RX 560X 4GB discrete graphics. It's got the Vega 8 graphics. It has the Ryzen 5 3550U processor. Comes with 8 gigabytes of DDR4 memory and a 256 gig SSD. What I'm going to do is I'm going to install a larger SSD. Actually, we're going to go all the way up to one terabyte. That's an NVMe drive. And I believe on this model there is a two and a half inch bay to install um, a two and a half inch drive. So in this case, I'm going to put a one terabyte mechanical hard drive. Now you could also put a solid state drive in there too if you wanted to. So we're going to end up with about two terabytes of storage once all is said and done. I'm also going to upgrade the memory or the RAM from 8 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes of DDR4. Because there, there is an empty slot in there. Uh, or two slots, I should say. So I have the one terabyte mechanical drive, two 16 gigabyte sticks of DDR4, and our NVMe one terabyte drive that we're going to put in. So... I said it's a nice little laptop it's got a full 1080p display got a backlit red keyboard pretty nice uh, on the one side over here it has the usual ports your headphone jack some usb ports hdmi port and an ethernet port i believe it's got two high speed usb ports and a regular usb port there's nothing else on the other side of the laptop i didn't put a c type usb on this model or an sd card slot so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to shut it down, and I'm going to start putting the new parts in it, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright guys, so I've already, it's our Asus Tough Gaming Laptop, I've already taken out all the screws. Now, I didn't want to bore you with that. Um, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, of course, I use the number zero, good quality magnetic screwdriver. Um, you're going to need a spudger tool, some kind of a pl stiff plastic tool to get the bottom pan off. These actually come off quite simple, actually, one of the easiest ones to take off. Now, on, the, on this model here, I got the screws laid out in the order in which I took them out because there's different length screws. You can see with the front of the laptop facing towards me, these go along the front, the back, the sides, and that one in the center. So make sure you put the right screws back in the right hole. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. i got my little plastic spudger tool here. And like I said, it's pretty simple. There's a seam that goes all the way around the laptop. You can just put this in kind of anywhere. Be careful. Don't poke anything in there too far. If you get it started here, it comes up pretty simple. See, I'm not using a lot of force. So always be careful of the screen on the back side. You don't want to be squeezing or pressing down too hard. But once you get it started, it should come off quite simple. You can see it takes very little pressure at all. And we got the bottom, got the bottom off. Now here's the two and a half inch hard drive bay. And it's already in here. We're going to mount this mechanical hard drive in here. There's two screws that hold this in. There's a screw here and a screw right here. And this come out. We'll mount our hard drive in there with the screws that Asus provided to us. They come in a little bag in the box. So we'll do that. Uh, over here is our SSD. Uh, there's one mounting screw here and one right here. It's pretty simple to get out to put our new one terabyte NVMe drive in the place of the 256 they got in here. And then our RAM slots are over here. It, it has eight gigabytes of DDR4 in it right now. But before I do anything, I'm gonna disconnect the battery real quick, which is right here because we don't want to be dropping screws and tools in there and shorting anything out. So let me go ahead and disconnect the battery. I got a plastic tool. Don't use metal tools. But let's get the battery disconnected. So we don't have to worry about that. Just get it pulled out of there far enough so it ain't making contact. 
there. So I got the battery disconnected there. And just for added safety, I'm going to open the lid real quick. And I'm going to hit the power button a few times just to make sure it's discharged. This should be good. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this 8 gigabyte DDR4 module. And I'm going to put a 16 gig in, stick in right over here. DDR4. And put the other one over on the other side underneath this little shield here. Just got to carefully lift it up. And obviously it only goes in one way, so we'll carefully put that in there. And lock it in, just like that. So we got the memory in, that's done. Alright, now I'm going to remove this little hard drive caddy here. Like I said, there's two screws. Pretty straightforward. It's always best to use a magnetic screwdriver so you're not dropping screws. If you can. This just lifts out just like that. We're going to set our hard drive in here. And we're going to mount it in the caddy with these four screws they gave us in the box. Like I said, you don't want to be dropping your screws. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can watch and you can watch more of my videos. I'd appreciate that. Now, I like to do clean installs whenever possible. If you want to clone the drive, if you're able or have the ability to do that, go for it. But on ASUS website, I'll put a link down below where you can go download all the all the ASUS software and drivers and the Armory Crate and all that fun stuff from ASUS so you can reload all that back on here all the factory software it's pretty easy to do so they gave us a extra screw there now I'm gonna slide this back in just like that set it back down and put these two mounting screws back in You can, I have a video on how to make a Windows 10 installation flash drive. It's pretty simple. You just download the Windows 10 media creation tool from Microsoft. It's free. You, it'll give you Windows 10 on it. It'll create a flash drive with Windows 10, the latest version. And you, so you can do a clean install just by booting up the flash drive. So we got our hard drive installed. We got our 32 gigs of RAM. Now we're going to carefully remove this 256 gigabyte SSD over here now this SSD is mounted inside a little protective shield as you can see here it just slides out so I'm going to get our new one in here here's our new drive take out that one I'm just going to slide this one right in back in there. Just like that. <clears throat> Put it back in the slot. Make sure it goes in all the way, which it did. <clears throat> Put our two screws back in there.
Just take your time with this stuff, guys. It's not too difficult. We got our SSD, our one terabyte SSD. Um, that's also a Western Digital. All right, so we're gonna hook the battery back up. Gotta be patient because there's not a lot of wiggle room in here, but it should just slide back in the connector here. Take your time with it. Just be mindful once you hook that battery back up, there's power, so be very careful. Don't use metal tools, always use plastic tools or your fingers. My bench tops are all anti-static. I treat them every day and I'm grounded. But if you have an anti-static band you want to wear, that's a good thing too. So we got our hard drive, our extra memory of 32 gigs and our SSD. So I'm gonna put the bottom pan back on. Everything looks good. Carefully snap it in place. Careful to squeeze it on the lid too hard because you got a screen in there. Make sure all the seams close up good, which they did. I'm going to plug in my power cord. I'm going to take my installation USB drive here. Just stick it in the USB port. Any one of them, it don't matter, and it should just boot by default off of that because we don't have a bootable drive in here right now. So I'm just going to power it on. Like I said, it's real easy at ASUS websites for these models to get the all the ASUS software right from their download section. So we got Windows 10 64-bit by default, just hit enter. We'll walk it through the install. The first thing I like to do is go into Windows Update. Make sure we get all the Windows updates. Then you can start, you know, Microsoft is going to take care of most of the drivers, but you're going to want to get the chipset, the graphics drivers. Just hit next. This is the United States. We're going to choose that. Click on Install Now. But you want to get all the, all the important drivers right from Asus. These tough laptops are they're they're, they're lower priced than the ROGs. Um, they're good little gaming laptops. If you're on a budget, so we're gonna accept the license terms. Hit next. We're gonna go to custom. Now we have two drives here. We have now I already that two and a half inch hard drive I put in here. I already formatted it in a different computer. I just like to do that um, but I named it storage drive so I know that's it I don't want to install Windows on that I'm gonna install it on this one here now in these laptops Acer Asus Dell when they have when when you install a two and a half inch mechanical drive into the SATA that's always going to be drive zero and the SSD is always going to be drive one I've just seen that on all the ones that I've done so I'm going to install on this second one here because um, if I wouldn't have formatted that drive, these would have been identical, and you're like, okay, which one do I install it on? But if you go with drive one, you, that you know is going to be your SSD. So I'm going to hit next. And we're going to let that walk through. Or go through the install. It shouldn't take too long here. All right, guys, it's coming up here. It doesn't take very long at all to install a clean install of Windows 10 on these faster computers. I'm just going to walk you through this real quick. Got to talk louder than Cortana.
Okay, United States. U.S. keyboard. I'm going to skip an extra layout. You can change all this stuff later in settings. Uh, on the internet, I always choose I don't have internet. Continue with limited setup. It doesn't affect anything. We're just going to put user in there. Or your name. No password on, in this case. This is Microsoft wants you to set up a Microsoft account. If you already have one, you can use your credentials to set, set it up that way if you want. But again, you can do this later. So I'm going to hit no. Decline. Again, we can turn all this on later. I like to turn all this stuff off for privacy. I leave location on though. But it's easy to change this stuff later in settings. Almost done now. I just want to use Windows 10, but I'm a stickler about privacy and too much information going out on the cloud there, but you do whatever makes you comfortable. This won't take but a minute to get us into Windows here. Just to make sure everything shows up the way we want it and be a nice upgrade to this Ryzen 5 gaming laptop. Like I said, it's got the Radeon RX 560X graphics with four gigabytes of dedicated memory discrete graphics plus the Vega 8 graphics which is with all the Ryzen 5s guys here we go thanks for being patient all right so like I said I'll go to Asus website and I'll get their latest driver for the graphics I don't like to leave that to Microsoft so I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna right click I'm gonna to go to settings I'm gonna to go to system I'm gonna to go to about and if you get right in here, you can see, let me turn that up just a little bit. All right, here's our 32 gigabytes of installed RAM. So there's our Ryzen 5 3550 processor. Close that out. Let's open a file explorer here real quick. Go to this PC. So here's our one terabyte SSD and our one terabyte two and a half inch hard drive that we put in. So the upgrade went real well. We'll get all the Windows updates. I'll connect up to the internet with the, Ether, with the Ethernet and go to ASUS website and get all the necessary drivers and the ASUS software and we should be all set. So again, don't forget to subscribe. I would appreciate it and thanks for watching. Have a great day.